Today we celebrated our second annual Latinx Heritage Month flag raising, which is really exciting just seeing the community come together to honor it and honor our ancestors and all those who came before us, as well as current and future change makers. It's really important to invest in our youth. I think if we listen to what our students are saying, what a beautiful culture they come from, but how they still feel like they don't belong, I think that that's why it's important for us to honor them. What a beautiful opportunity to not only think about who they are and what they represent and what they contribute to society, but letting them know how important their contribution is. And one of my favorite parts of my culture are the stories that come with it. The fantastical tales woven with the thread of generations of culture and storytelling. But the power in these stories, these memories, is not, lies not in the past, but the present. They help guide us in what it means to be a Latino today. I am reminded of my own culture. Born to immigrant parents, I grew up navigating two worlds. The vibrant culture of my household and the unfamiliar landscape of American schools. My parents' stories of resilience and determination inspired me to pursue education. Their words, sigue adelante, hija, keep moving forward, my daughter, echo in my mind. Sí, sí, es muchas gracias al distrito que se preocupa por el por el en la educación y inculcarles también, verdad, todo lo la herencia, los valores, todo eso. Muchas gracias. Nuestra cultura is not something to be hidden nor ashamed of. Students, this is your call to action to do the same. In spaces I boldly step into, I constantly find myself outnumbered by people who do not look like me, where I do not see myself represented, and imposter syndrome becomes a very real thing. Although it's discouraging at times, I am understanding that to be an effective change agent, I am where I need to be.